Hello everyone, my name is Juan and welcome to this week's video. Today's tutorial is going to be about perpendicular lines. Let's get started. Two lines are said to be perpendicular to each other as long as they meet in a 90 degrees angle. Let's see how two perpendicular lines are linked to each other. So we have a straight line that has a slope of 3 and there's a second straight line that meets it in a 90 degrees angle and has a slope of negative 1 over 3. Believe me, they're perpendicular to each other and their slopes are right. As we can see here, both of them have a 3 but the 3 in here is in the top and this one is in the bottom and this slope is positive and the other one's negative. So how are they similar to one another? Luckily for us, there's a special rule that helps us find the slope of a perpendicular line of another line. Is that too complicated? And that rule says that if we know the slope of a line, then the slope of its perpendicular line is going to be the negative reciprocal of that number. Now what's a negative reciprocal? Well, the negative stands for negative, so we just stick a negative in front of that number. And reciprocal means that we have to flip the number. Now going back to our example, we have this line, and it has a slope of 3. But let's remember that this 3 is on top of an imaginary 1, so there's a 1 here. So what we're going to do to find the slope of its perpendicular line, it's just flip the number so it's the reciprocal and stick a negative in front of that number because it's the negative reciprocal and it works the other way around so if we had this line with the slope of negative 1 over 3 and we wanted to find this line which is the perpendicular line we just have to get rid of that negative or like a negative a negative would be like a positive number and then we just flip the number so 3 over 1 which is just 3. And the good thing is that it always works. So for example, if we have a line that has a slope of two thirds, then the perpendicular line, it's gonna have a slope of negative three over two. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and viewed it. Please don't forget to give it a big, big, big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And if there's a topic that you want me to go over in my next videos, please don't forget to put it in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you all in my next week's video. Bye.